forget Tebow time, it's tech time. We're one step closer to this Jetsons era. This year it was all about 4K TV. How are you guys surviving Comic-Con? We're doing well. Let's talk about celebrities sometimes getting in trouble on Twitter. Yeah, that's me. We've got tech expert Katie Linendahl of TalkNerdyToMe.net. This is our tech guru, Katie Linendahl. This was actually funded on Kickstarter, Meet the Elf. I'm Katie Linendahl, checking in with the latest sports, social media trends, and technology. You're joining me for a workout. Now, blue blue, Twitter farewell, 32 gigs of RAM. Yes! I can tell you I'm cashing this in for a Samsung any day now. If you guys could each make one person disappear, who would it be? Jim. Jim has one. <laughs> You're the amazing Gabby Douglas. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, huge! Please welcome Mark Hamill. Oh, may the force be with you! I'm Katie Linendahl, and there's a lot of soul glow in my hair! Shousey. Tech expert Katie Linendahl of TalkNerdyToMe.net. This is like my favorite gadget right now. Yeah. This is the iSplash speaker from Frontgate.com. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Forget the water-resistant speakers. Right. This is a waterproof speaker. Waterproof. You throw this in the pool, you throw this in the beach. Super sound quality. Get it in there, Al. Jam it on in there. Katie, thanks for joining us. You wrote a piece in 2011 in which you predicted the demise of the BlackBerry. You said the only way to save the brand was to innovate, to bring something to the market that no one else has. So is that what has happened to them? They, they just failed to innovate? Absolutely. And, you know, I've been covering this piece for quite a while, and I like to say we're at a point now where it is too little too late. And BlackBerry trying to cash out now is me trying to make bank on my Beanie Baby collection from about 10 years ago. <laughs> Katie Lennon-Dahl, Jeff Keighley here in San Diego, where not only have we survived the biggest pop culture event of the year, my voice not so much, but we're keeping the Comic-Con party going with a Godzilla-sized special. That's right, so let's not waste any time. So what about the latest tech buzz, Google Glass? Could it work in the NFL? We came to St. Louis, a franchise that is no stranger to trying out new innovations. So Here's what a pass to an NFL wide receiver looks like through Google Glass. This first one here is an example of a crowd-funded creative project. What does that mean? Yes, so this was actually funded on Kickstarter, Meet the Elf. It is a hybrid electric bike, believe it or not. Three different ways to power it. You can actually pedal. There are solar panels right on the roof and lithium-ion batteries. So if you want a little electric, you want a little boost, no problem. I wanted to see if you could call out some audibles that I kind of just made up. Okay. And then just call it like a play. <laughs> you think you could do that? <laughs> we can try. All right, I got try. them right here. You meant like for reals. All right, for reals, for reals. Here we go. All right, we got blue, blue, Twitter farewell, 32 gigs of RAM, insecure Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bluetooth, hey! Yes. There you go. Two survival tips you would give anybody in real life trying to survive a zombie apocalypse. God, I've, uh, man, if that happened, I'd probably just check into like the top floor of the Four Seasons and watch <laughs> South Park till I died, you know what I mean? You know, let's do this. <laughs> And in honor of National High Five Day, today, I set out to break the record for the most high fives in one minute. Go! I'm happy to announce that you have broken the record <laughs> with 107 high yeah! fives. Now, here's the deal, and here's my most exciting moment of the day. Some people pretend to be Luke Skywalker. He actually is. Please welcome Mark Hamill. There's the music. Yeah. It's epic. A royal introduction from Mark Hamill. Epic. Did not frighten small children. I tell them I'm Luke's grandfather at this <laughs> point. Marvel just announced that with every printed comic copy, you get a digital version too. What do you think about that? You're like that's the old school, the real the only deal. Good thing about it is even for digital versions, somebody has to draw it. After spending a day in the waters with Graham and his team, I got to see the problem firsthand. Yep. Oh, so it just came back with the first batch of lionfish, obviously a very substantial kill. And it's just fascinating. They've only been down there for about 25 minutes and got a ton. Every year at CES, there's kind of an unofficial theme. This year, it was all about 4K TVs or yeah. Ultra HD, which all that means is four times the resolution of those 1080p high-def TVs that most of us have in our homes. And it was exciting to see bright, brilliant colors. And a lot of these TVs also came with smarter features, face recognition technology, voice recognition technology. You can actually talk to your TV to have it change channels or to pull up programming that you want it's to see. It's fantastic. You never have to leave the couch. You no. can wave your hand. <laughs> Laziness increase. Yeah. 
Whether you like to sing in the shower or you're obsessed with brewing the perfect cup of coffee, we've got some new gadgets that you want to see. Katie Lindendahl is a tech expert. Katie, good to see you. Hi, good to see you. Let's start with Romo right here. What does yes. Romo do for me? What this is Romo, your little pet robot. This is kind of awesome. This is from Romotive. And all you do here, I call this the ultimate appsessory. You put your I had to break his record, and Don, I would like to say that the on-site Guinness adjudicator said that I broke the record. You have an on-site uh, ceremony as soon you're, as you you're, win. You're, you're a pro. You won. Can you flip it over, please? It's upside down. <laughs> I've had that problem before. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Oh, and scene.